Today we're going to try to make the tree of life hanging wreath. So what we need is a 14 inch wreath form from the Dollar Tree, seven packs of the nautical rope, some of the rocks from the Dollar Tree, and the reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree. So the first thing we're going to do is start wrapping the rope around the wreath form. And I just realized how much different the nautical rope is than how it used to be. It used to be very, very tiny. Look, I'm going to show you how different it is. So here's the, the, the basket I made for Easter. And here, that's the nautical rope. And look how thin it used to be compared to how thick it is now. So we're going to try the thicker rope, but if it doesn't work, we're going to go to the thin rope. So let's start by cutting the tape off the ends of the nautical rope. I should have done this before I started, but anyway, there we go. We got the tape off. We're just going to put some glue down in there. Wave it around. And then we're going to start on the back of the wreath form. And we're just going to start gluing. And wrapping it around. So we'll get a good bead of glue going on there. Not wanting to stick. Let's try putting a little bit more. Pull it down in there. We're just going to start wrapping. It's not sticking. And we're just going to wrap the whole entire wreath in the nautical rope. We'll glue it down every so often. But that's what we're going to do. And then once that's done, we will move on to the next. Okay, so I finished wrapping the wreath form in the nautical rope. And let me tell you, it took a long time. Um, also, it goes a little off center. So you get this kind of bunch at the bottom, but that's okay because we're going to cover it up with rocks. So I have all these rocks and we're just going to start placing them on with some hot glue. We're going to place them on the rope. We're going to cover up the bunchiness of the rope right here. So this will be our bottom. And we're just going to keep filling in the blank spots with rocks. Now, I got two packs of rocks at the dollar store yesterday, but they were like, they had a lot of white in there. Like, if you look at the package itself, it says decorative accents, and it's got all different colors, but if you look at the rocks themselves, they were mostly white. A couple of little gray and black ones in there. I had these, they're probably, <laughs> they're probably from the beach and stuff, going down the shore and bringing stones home because I like to, I like natural stuff. But anyway, so this is what we're going to do. We're just going to fill in the, the areas with some, some of these decorative stones. And when that's done, we'll come back. Okay, so we got the rocks on there. I don't know, I guess it's about six, seven inches of rocks. This thing's actually pretty heavy with all the rope on here and the rocks. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the last piece of the nautical rope we have and we're going to divide it into three pieces. We're going to cut them in even pieces and when that's done we can twist them together. Okay so we have the ropes 
cut into three even pieces and we glued it down to the top rock right here. Now, I started to untwist the, the ropes at the top and then remembered, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be filming this. So I'm just untwisting the, this nautical rope comes into three. So let's, we're gonna start with three and untwist them and make branches. Now the, the top gets glued just to the front of it because it's going to be covered with the reindeer moss. So we're just going to keep unraveling and make branches out of this top. Right now it just looks like a tangled mess, but I promise you it's going somewhere. We're just going to rearrange these pieces so they look like branches of a tree. They look pretty good actually right now. Let's see. This nautical rope is messy. Let's get this one up here. I'm going to call my, my critic and husband over to see what he thinks this looks like. Come here, Brian. Because if he says it looks good, then I'll go with it and we can start gluing these pieces down. He gave me the okay sign. All right, so I'm going to start gluing these down and trimming off the excess. And then we'll come back and we'll work on the bottom. Okay, so we have the top of the tree, the branches, glued down in place. Now... We have to work on the bottom so we're going to do the same thing we're going to start unraveling these to make the root of the tree and in, as you can see these are glued to the front because they're going to be covered with the reindeer moss but the bottom will be glued to the back and because these are supposed to be roots we'll probably separate more of the nautical rope because they come in a lot of different um i don't know what you call them strands they come in different strands so you can separate them and make root make tree like roots and then we'll put those in the back so they go over top of the rocks and then they'll be glued to the back my husband says that I'm too particular about my, and I put myself down too much about some of the things that I do. But like, just like the, um, where the rocks are, where it was bunched up, he's like, why are you being so hard on yourself about that? Well, I wanna tell everybody what it looks like so they know. So if they go to try to make this, that they know, oh, okay, Hers was bunched up too, so maybe it's not such a bad thing. But I know a lot of my videos, I'm like, well, this and that. And he thinks I'm being too much of a perfectionist, but I just want to let everybody know what's going on. So anyway, I'm going to keep unraveling these. And then I'm going to glue them to the back. And then we'll, after that's done, we'll start the video up again and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is the tree with the branches on glued down the roots all glued down to the back the rocks are on so the next part is to do the spanish moss to make leaves so i'm going to try to just take you through to the end now we just want to get the reindeer moss and try to make a tree canopy I'm just going to put some glue down, press it into the glue. Hey, I only burned my fingers like, <laughs> surprisingly, I didn't burn my fingers that much on the wrapping of the wreath, but putting the rocks down and the branches, yeah, I burned myself quite a few times. <laughs> I did get my finger, my 
silicon fingers out, so I probably should put them on. That would be the smart thing to do. I'm just going to glue it down. Sorry if I'm hitting the camera. I have to I have to stand up for this one. I can't sit down and do this one. I can't see. So there's the one branch started. Just get some more out. Put a good amount of glue down and just press it into the glue. putting the reindeer moss on where the branches are so it looks like leaves. Okay, I think uh, other than the cleanup, getting the little pieces of green reindeer moss, maybe trimming it up a little bit, this is pretty much done. So it's our tree of life. If you like this craft, I hope you try it. It's not very difficult, it's just time consuming. Um, and if you liked what I did, please like and share. Subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. It would help my channel a lot. I hope you guys have a nice weekend. Bye.